T 8.1.6. PQ Limited wants to expand its uh, business and have applied for a loan for a commercial bank for its growing financial requirement. The record of the company reveals that the company sells goods in domestic market at a GP of 25%, not counting depreciation as a part of cost of goods sold. <coughs> the following additional information is also available for now. Sales home at one month credit. Sales export at three months credit. Sales price is 10% uh, below home price. Material use, wages paid, manufacturing expenses, administrative expenses paid one month in areas, income tax payable in four installment of which one falls in next financial year. The company keeps one month stock of each raw material and finished goods and believe in keeping 10 lakhs available to it including the overdraft limit of 5 lakhs not yet utilized by the company. Assuming a 15% margin contingencies, ignore work in progress you are required to ascertain the requirement of working capital of the company. Here, believe me, daters is a challenging point otherwise everything is very simple. Sales home at one month credit is 1 crore 20 lakhs. So sales are in two parts. One is home, another is expo. Please understand if we take sales at a selling price, the question becomes extremely easy. Let us take sales at cost price. Home sales is 1 crore 20 lakhs. Export sales is 54 lakhs. Can I reduce the profit from this? Yes. GP of 25%. Minus 25 percent. That is 30 lakhs. The cost of sales for domestic is 90 lakhs. But I cannot do minus 25 percent from it. Please understand selling price have changed. Then what is the cost of this 54 lakhs? And what is the profit included in it? I can find it out how. Understand, for export sales, sales price is 10% below home price. What does this mean? If home price is 100 minus 10%, that is a 10, then export price is 90. Please understand how I am trying to find out. What is my export price? 54 lakhs. Cross multiply it. I will be getting answer 60 lakhs. What is 60 lakhs? Please try to understand. If this sales was done at home, I would have received 60 lakhs rupees. Sir, but the sales is exported. Agreed. But to find out a genuine profit, I am doing this. If this sales was done at home, my profit would have been 60 lakhs. Sorry, my sales would have been 60 lakhs. So my profit, which is a 25%, would be 15 lakhs. So my COGS would be 45 lakhs, which is actually sold at 54 lakhs. So there is a profit of. So in this, there is a profit of 9 lakhs and cost of 40. I need to find out daters. Sales at home are given at one month credit into 1 divided by 12 and export are at 3 months credit into 3 divided by 12. I will be getting answer. 90 lakh divided by 12, which is 7 lakh 50 thousand and 45 lakhs divided by 12 multiplied by 3, 11 lakh 25 thousand. Total will be 11 lakh 25 thousand plus 7 lakh 50 thousand. 
will be nothing but my daters. I have considered this. I have considered this. Daters 18 lakh 75,000. Let us go to material. Material used. Supplier extends 2 months credit. Material used is 45 lakhs. Uh, we will be getting creditors. 45 lakhs into 2 divided by 12. Seven lakh fifty thousand. Those are creditors. Seven lakh fifty thousand. Are creditors. Wages half month in areas thirty six lakhs. So wages will be outstanding wages will be thirty six lakhs into. Half month in areas, 0 0.5 divided by 12. One lakh fifty thousand. Outstanding wages will be one lakh fifty thousand. Manufacturing expenses are paid uh, one month in areas. So manufacturing expenses will be fifty four lakh into one divided by twelve. Four lakh fifty thousand is a manufacturing expenditure outstanding. Four lakh fifty thousand. Administrative expenses paid one month in areas. 12 lakhs, so 12 lakhs into 1 divided by 12 will be 1 lakh rupees. So administrative expenses outstanding will be 1 lakh rupees. Advance income tax payable, sorry, income tax payable in 4 installment of which one falls in next financial year. Please try to understand the language is given such that you may consider it as outstanding expense. You may even consider it prepaid expense. Income tax payable in four installment of which one falls in next financial year. What does it mean? Three installment falls in current year and one installment of current year falls in next year. So more logical is treating it as outstanding expense. Income tax payable which will be four installments of 15 lakhs divided by four. This is income tax payable and I will be considering it as liability. You may even considering <clears throat> seeing the language as asset. 3,75,000. Income tax payable 3.75. 3,75,000. This is I T payable. The company keeps one month stock of each of raw material and finished goods and believes in keeping 10 lakhs available to it. All right. The company keeps one month stock of raw material. We will have to find out raw material stock. Raw material consumed is 45 lakhs into 1 divided by 12. Three lakh seventy-five thousand will be raw material stock. Finished goods for finished goods. I should take raw material cost forty-five lakhs plus. I should take wages cost yes thirty-six lakhs. Should I take manufacturing expense? Yes, 54 lakhs. Should I take administrative expenses? No, income tax payable. No. So I'll be taking this two and this three and they are one month in stock. 
raw material and finished goods are one month in stock. So my answer will be 45 plus 36 plus 54 divided by 12 is 11 lakh 25 thousand. Is nothing but finished goods stock. All right. Uh, the company believes in keeping 10 lakhs rupees available to it, including an overdraft limit of which 5 lakhs is not to be utilized. So you want 10 lakhs, you are already having 5 lakhs, you will require additional 5 lakhs rupees only. Cash and bank balance of only 5 lakhs is required. So practically I have got all the answers. Let us uh, add 15% margin for contingencies. So my networking capital is a 20 lakh 50,000 plus 15 percent of contingencies is it 15 percent yes 15 percent margin I'll add it 20 lakh 50,000 into 15 percent is 3 lakh 7500 this will be 23 lakh 57500 will be nothing but my working capital requirement this answer is not matching with suggested because of few reasons please understand here in your book by mistake this is taken as 20 percent which is actually 25 percent clearly written in the question so while calculating export sales, they by incorrect, uh, uh, incorrectly they have taken 20%. Number two, sometimes they don't consider this income tax saying that it is not a charge to profit, but it is a distribution from the profit. Agree. But if you are liable to pay income tax today, and if it is delayed by say three months and so you are saving some cash it should reduce your working capital requirement so we have taken income tax payable as a current liability if you take it as current asset again your answer will be different and this was a clear mistake from the uh, in the question that it is taken 20 percent instead of 25 percent otherwise our answer is absolutely correct you should be getting 100 percent marks for the same 